Hi, I'm Pastor Andy. I'm Pastor Bill. And welcome to Northminster Presbyterian Church's midweek um, scripture study and discussion about uh, some of the scripture that might be coming up on Sunday. Uh, this coming Sunday is what we call Trinity Sunday in our um, church calendar. Mm -hmm. And so Sunday we're going to be looking at the gospel and epistle texts. But what's really kind of fun is the um, New Old Testament readings for this Sunday yeah. are the stories of creation. They are. Uh, two of the three stories of creation. The first one is Genesis 1-1. That's the one where God created in the beginning, and we'll read that. The second creation story by a completely different writer is Genesis 2. Different take on it, and you can yes. look it up and read it and see how the difference is. And the third one is from Psalm 8. Um, and the first nine verses of that song. Yeah. And it's kind of more poetic. It's a, it's a summary song. Poem. Yeah. And so sit back and relax. And uh, here's the familiar story. You've heard this before. Genesis 1, 1 to 2, 3. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness God called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let the dome be in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the water from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters from under the dome from the waters above the dome, and it was so. And God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, Let all the waters under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the waters were gathered together. He called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with a seed in it. And it was so. The earth brought fruit forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the night from the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years, and let them be lights in the dome to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the sky day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them to the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let the birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters, and every living creature that moves, every kind with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind, God saw that it was good. And God blessed them in saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters of the sea, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said that the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. And God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind, and the cattle of every kind, and everything that creeps upon the earth of every kind. And God saw that it was good. And then God said, Let us make humankind in our image according to our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humankind in his image. In the image of God he created them. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit, for, that you sh for you shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and everything that creeps upon the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. And on the seventh day God finished the work he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on the, it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. Huh. 
You know, when I read this, mm. I always think about the Hebrew people sitting around campfires yeah. because of the rhythm. Mm -hmm. This is this was this was oral. Yes. And so the rhythm, and it was good. The morning, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The storytelling yeah. campfire yeah, song. Yeah. Yes. Let me hear from Psalms eight. O Lord, our sovereign, our majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded the Balkan because of the foes and the silence of the enemies and the avengers. When I look at the heavens, at the work of your fingers, the moons and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that we are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them, yet you have made them a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the fields, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, wherever passes along the path of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all of the earth. In that one you hear the music. Yes. Yeah, you hear that being sung. Sung in the chorus. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> I think there's a hymn <laughs> <laughs> two, two that have been written off of that oh, one. Lord, oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> um, for sure. Um, wow. So these two similar, different tellings of the story of creation. Yeah. But uh, you were noticing there's a some the, some some a real common there's thread. A, yeah, there's a common thread or a link. Yeah. I mean, we get into this whole litany of what God has made. In that, in the Psalms, on each of these days, and yeah, and, yeah. and we're not going to get into the, what the twenty four hours or twenty five million years. For we each, don't need to get into that kind of theology. The theology, <laughs> but it's the awesomeness of what he made. And in Psalms, it's re in eight here. It's reiterated that look, you have made by what you've made. But the, it comes into here the works of your hands and lists out these works, um, not necessarily how long it took. But just before that, in verse 6 there, there's this word dominion. And we have that oh, same that? word again. Here it is right here. And yeah. I think it's like verse 26. Verse, very good. Verse, 20, verse 26. 26. Yeah. And let them have and dominion over dominion. the fish of this. Wow. Have dominion. But here's the problem I have. Okay. People take that as meaning having control and might. Well, uh, uh, if I have dominion over it, I, I'm in charge and I can do anything I want That's to. That's right. Do, right. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm Maybe in charge not. and control and, you know, but but I think it's a bad translation of the Hebrew in there. Mm. <clears throat> that we looked for a word, so much, but if you really look, I know in the, the, the Hebrew takes this dominion as more of a caretaker. So a <clears throat> steward, uh, someone who looks right. over things. And a cares steward, for caretaker, it would probably be a better analogy or word for it. Yeah, your Hebrew is yeah. better than mine. My Greek was better than yours. But, uh, <laughs> it's all Latin to us. Right? <laughs> yeah, but um, so dominion didn't mean that we can rule over rule, it. No. But we ca we're the caretakers. The caretakers of it. That were these stewards. And I think of today. Mm. What is hitting our news in this past, even past five to seven days? Just in this, this last week is the riots in the streets over that Horrible, horrible killing of that uh, of um, Floyd, Floyd George. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so how is that? People say, well, I think that links to this creation story. How? Mm. In that the fact that we are works of God. Okay. You know, we were made in God's image. God makes us there, and works. Of, so. So God is the care. God is the creator and caretaker. And if we're in God's yes, image, we, we need to care, care for, for each, each other. other. For each other, yeah, uh, and so it is standing up when you need to for injustice, yeah. and it, um, taking um, charge in the sense of when s someone has been wronged or needs help or assistance in that. Um, you know, the, I teach first aid CPR mm -hmm. with the Red Cross, and one of those things that we do is, is you know, we survey the incident to see if it's safe before we render care. But then we render care to the ability and the gifts very best that we've been trained yeah. and have been given to us into that. And so that's what's being, I think, asked. So the of tearing us. of things down, yeah. that's not the kind of care you're that's talking not, no. about. But it's no. tearing and demonstrating that we need to 
right. look out for people that are being right. hurt. Right. So yeah. if, if your ability is to hold a sign up, maybe that's what your level is. If you have the ability to walk, it's walking then. You know, if, it's, if you have the ability to write a letter to officials and governments, yeah. you write that letter. It, um, it's taking care of, but it's all about respect and love in that. Okay. To stand up for it. Right. But it also, there's the other thing that's been hitting the news, which has been in there for like 90 plus sure. days in there. Um, it's has the been, pandemic. It's yeah. the pandemic. Okay. Um, yeah. And I think, again, that comes back to us taking care of each other. Taking you know, care of God's creation through creation. caring for one another. For one yeah. another. So, yes, it means maybe not going to a beach. It means maybe it means. wearing a mask when you go grocery shopping. It means, you know, so maybe supporting local businesses um, in whatever form or fashion when, you when can. When they're able to get open to go. Right? Or ordering takeout or yeah. whatever. It, it means maybe making phone calls to one another, or dropping groceries off on doorsteps um, in there and just ringing the doorbell. It means being respectful and following to help all, even Follow, though you may not be sick, but to yeah. help others. And following the guidelines that we're cutting down right. from the governor and the county saying, this is what you need to do right. to care for one another, to care for our creation. That is what we need right. to do. Um, and you know, that, just just a simple act of caring for creation is so, so often, oh. when I look around the church and I find gloves and and masks That's on the ground. Right. It's like, seriously, is that caring right. for right. creation? Yeah, we have dominion over it. We can do whatever we want, right. but that's not what it means. No, no. It's that caretaking. <laughs> and, and it's and I think it's gotten more um, dominion word has changed as our society, and we assume it is brute force. Yeah. It is making you kneel to our wills, bend to our wills in that. But it means sure, caring. Arm, but it's more of stewardship created. caring. And it's back to what I think, if you, if I was to sum up the whole Bible, okay, love, the one word definition. <clears throat> yeah, when you read the scriptures, yes, especially when you look at what Jesus taught, it's like, love God and love your neighbor. <laughs> yeah, and these psalmists and, um, and Genesis, I think, is saying, love the earth and the people on this earth. That's what we need to do is love and care. Yeah. And, and, and ensure that people are cared for properly. And that may mean mm -hmm. going to a protest. Right. But wear your mask when you go to the protest. Right. Uh -huh. um, it may mean that you have to show some social distancing yeah. um, when trying to reach out and, to other individuals. Well, and I've gotten all sorts of phone calls. When are we going to go back into the building? We can yeah. do that now. It's like, no, we're going to be safe. We're going to play it careful. Right. Yeah, right. It's a lot of work for you and me. But, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we've got to be careful. We've got to be safe. We got to be smart. We got to be smart. I think that's the key. Is, yeah. is to be smart, um, in it. and I think that's the key with how we take care of what God has given us uh -huh. to is to be smart, to be smart in it, yeah, to yeah. think it out. Um, yeah. And then with the psalmist, we say, "O Lord our God, O Lord yeah, our Sovereign, sovereign. how majestic, majestic is Your name in all the all earth. earth." Yeah. 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 Let's pray. Yeah. God, we thank you for the stories of creation that tell us how the world was made and we thank you for giving us the ability to be caretakers of your creation. Today we ask, O oh God, that you will help us to treat our fellow human beings correctly, that our those in positions of leadership can find the right things to do to care for, to help us care for each other. God, I pray for the family that lost loved ones in this these riots and this and then that senseless killing in, in Minneapolis and other things that we see going on that you will be with them and help them to care for one another help us to care for what you've given to us we pray in Jesus name amen amen just want to remind people that we are still doing our drive-in worship at 10 o'clock and drive it is church and it is live streamed in there and hope to see you in some form or fashion whether it's over the, <laughs> the internet or yep. We'll in a drive-in. We'll see you online. Yeah. Or in the parking lot. Or in the parking lot. <laughs> right, thank, thank you. Thank you.